episode 15. So, what we're going to plan on doing today is just get the whole front end buttoned up. We'll get as far as we can with it. So that's going to be the caliper on that side, along with the brake lines. Um, then that's the axle done, which is great. Apart from it does need some oil in the differential that's been drained out. But that's not a massive issue at the moment because it's not going to be driving anywhere. So we're going to do that. We're also going to, hopefully, as long as we've got enough uh, brake lines left, we're going to make the two brake lines that go from here all the way up around here, around the bulkhead to the mast cylinder. We're going to also install the servo. We do need to clean and paint the mast cylinder, so we might not focus too much on brake lines today. Um, we will get the headlamps back in, the brackets, clean and paint the grill and the surrounds. Um, sadly, won't might be able to start doing something on the bumper. We'll see how far we get. It would be nice to put the scuttle back on and all the panels. But again, we are still waiting for these screws to turn up. I've ordered them. Um, I found the correct size and they were a fraction of the price that you'd pay for from a specialist. So I will put a link to those uh, when they turn up, providing they're the right ones. So yeah, I don't think I'll put the scuttle panel on because I really want to clean the paint up and buff it up. And it, as soon as it sits underneath this absolutely knackered seal, you're not going to be able to do that. And it's going to be a patina restoration car, so we're not looking for perfection, but it would be nice to make sure that paint is clear, uh, clean even. So yeah, so we just push along as much as we can. I've got about three to four hours here today because it's a Sunday. So we'll just st stick the time lapse on. Might stop it just to discuss a few bits and pieces that we do. But uh, on the whole, we'll just crack on and see how far we get. Made a little bit of progress. Um, as you saw, I did some work with a time lapse um, and basically just got stuck. So what happened, annoyingly, I've had this brake pipe flaring tool that I've used for, God knows, seven, eight years, maybe longer actually. This thing, I bought it in 2000 and, oh, 10 years now I had it. Um, so I made one of the pipes. The other one was just in the last flare and the guide pin snapped in the flare which is uh, a bit of an issue, really. So it basically means I need to buy a new brake pipe flaring tool. I'll show you what happened. I mean, it's no surprise. I've been abusing this thing for so long. But that pin, see that pin there? For the um, for the uh, 3 uh pipe, that's a guide pin. That sheared off and got stuck in the pipe. And there's no way of repairing these. You can see how battered it is. You know, it should, look, I've not even used any of the others. That's how compressed it's got. And the tool itself has broken so many times over the years. You can see how many times it's had different nuts welding onto it, different bolts. So, yeah, it was about time that it died, um, which is a bit of a shame, really, because I was one pipe away from having the wheels on and it on the ground. Um, but that's fine. So we just did a few other little bits and pieces. Um, what we've done, so we cleaned up all in here, mounted the starter solenoid, um, started investigating the, uh, the oil filter. We'll rip that off. Put the diesel water separator that's on power steering pump uh reservoir that's on get up cleaned it up not going for perfection with the cars we know so didn't see any reason to uh to clean it and paint it so just gave it a bit, a bit of a clean up cleaned all the threads on the bolts and stuff so it just looks well maintained um what else we've we done new bonnet uh release cable i took the old one out and put a new one back in uh, the wiring looms through and what else we've we done oh yeah we've realized that this will actually replace this. So that's a water separator and diesel fuel filter all together. That's gonna replace this, which is good because I cannot get a filter for it, um, which is down there. So luckily it's exactly the same bolt straight on, two bolts and in and out, except for this side will be the in and the out here. Same threads, same size uh, banjos, which is fantastic. And then we can just blank off this side here. Um, what else we've got to do? Oh yeah, and sorry, what's going to go here is going to just be a pre-filter pre water trap, which is what was there before. So we may very well just be able to repair the one that came off. Um, if they're not too expensive, we'll just buy a replacement. Um, 
put a couple of new hoses in. It's, what else we've we done? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, servos in. So that's in. Got a new uh, servo pipe here as well. That's in. Uh, we put this pipe on, cleaned up and put that on. The brake pedal has been installed now with the clevis pin for it. So that's all functioning. And the brake light switch, so that's all in, which is good. Uh, yeah, so slowly making some progress here. Um, as I say, I need to clean up the moss and uh, before I can bolt that back on again. We'll just say I'm really happy with the finish that this has come out with. It's very, very glossy and uh, not matte at all, which is really nice. So that looks quite good. But yeah, no, we're slowly making some progress here, as you can see. Um, I've ordered a few little bits and pieces um, that we need. So some new connectors and bits and pieces. I'm gonna order a pair of new indicators because the other ones are knackered. Um, need to order some cable clips just to start mounting stuff up where it should go. Um, just need various, you know, a couple of nuts and bits and pieces. We'll take, might take the oil filter off in a minute just so we can trace that and drain the oil out of it. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, we are making some good progress. I've ordered a blank and screw, uh, blank, blank and grommet for that 50 mil. This one, I think, is actually for if you have an aerial, which is on the other side. But I've ordered a 20 mil blank and grommet for that too. And those, I think, something attached to it. I'm not sure what goes on there. Um, but yeah, no, so we're making some good progress. I mean, I can put the steering damper on in a minute if I want to. Um, which I might do just to kill some time because I'm a bit of a dead end right now without that brake flaring uh, tool kind of put me dead in the water right now. It's gonna stop me. I really wanted to get it so that we could get it on the ground so we can move it around. I mean, we still can, but it's just a bit of a double-handed effort, isn't it? Just starting to uh, put wheels on and move it and then take them all off again. I'd rather just finish it and know it's done. But, uh, oh yeah, and we started cleaning the grill up, but again, got bored of that because that was very tedious. Uh, what we got here, oh, we got throttle cable that's going to go back on again at some point um but yeah no so we just keep plugging along and see where we end up today i'm not sure how far we're going to get but we are making some progress every i you know it's very hard to motivate myself sometimes when it's horrible outside and you just want to sort of stay inside and watch tv but you think you know if you don't even if you just come down here and fit one small part and screw one screw on um it'll quickly become uh, apparent how quick it will come back together so just got to keep persevering Okay, so fast forward um, a few days since that last uh, clip that I inserted there. Um, basically, I just had to go off to work, but I'm now back for the weekend. Um, I have cleaned and bolted on the passenger wing, which I'm quite happy with. That's come out quite nice. Give it a good clean inside and out. Um, just getting all the grime and dirt off it from years of driving around fields and stuff. So that's all good. Uh, the scuttle panel, I've removed all the sealant and I've just ran a mop over it. And I think you'll agree. I mean, we are going for a patina restoration here, which basically just means it's gonna have uh, the scruffy paint just polished up, just so I'm not too precious about it. Because I mean, we could have very easily had this car painted, but I decided I don't wanna go down that route. So yeah, I'm just giving it a, it's nothing, you know, nothing professional or anything like that. We have the mop here, because we're doing another car for work this week. So I just used um, some coarse cutting compound and then a finishing one on a couple of pads just to give it a bit of a shine but there was mainly because i wanted to get all around here where the seal sits over because i don't want to knack of the seals any more than they are i mean we are at some point next year going to pull all the glass out and put new seals in um, but for now it will serve its purpose but i just needed to buff that one up before it goes in because it'd just be a nightmare without so we're going to fit this in um oh there's a good point remember i was banging on about the screws as you'll notice now, all the screws are in here. I've got all the screws to go in here. So I got, there you go, a bag of 100, I think it's 100 or 200 screws, could be 100. They are exactly the same as the ones that all the other suppliers sell, um, such as Famous for. And I think they're around 50p a screw or 35p a screw. I got a whole bag of 10, a uh, whole bag of 100 here and came to about seven quid, including postage. So I will put the details of the company I bought these from, the size, um, in the link in the bottom. So anybody who wants to order those, as I say, they do, they do the scuttle panel that fixes this panel to the bulkhead. They do the scuttle panel that bolts the scuttle to this panel. They do the wing rails all the way along. They do various parts of the gearbox tunnel. Um, I think, oh yeah, they also do those screws there. Uh, I mean, they probably do the number plate, uh, not number plate. They probably do the indicator screws as well. Also, sorry if it's a bit hard to uh, 
to hear me. It's absolutely hammering it down outside. But yeah, so we'll just crack on now. Um, we're going to bolt the scuttle panel on and the wiper spindles. They can go on. Um, then we can... Oh, that's a good point. We had some new bits turn up today. There we go. The Chinese special indicators. I did just put that in there and it actually looks... I mean, the quality of them is really good. And they're not expensive for what they are. Um, and I thought we'd just freshen the front end up a little bit. But yeah, as I say, we'll bolt the, uh, bolt the front end together. Hopefully get the lights, the loom and everything in. Then it will just be bumpers and grills. I've got a new brake pipe flaring tools arrived so we can make new brake pipes so that can tick off the bottom. Um, yeah, so we'll just crack on. I'll just, um, I'm probably not gonna time lapse much today. I'm probably just gonna come back in intervals. I just like to be able to talk about the stuff that I'm doing. Um, you might also have noticed in that, the absence in between the clips that everything's been moved around now because we've got a lot more cars in here. Uh, we've got another Capri. This is my boss's one that I restored and there's a BMW out there too. So it's pretty jam packed in here now but uh, we can actually finally work. Oh, and it's on the floor. That probably wasn't on the floor last time. So uh, yeah, she rolls now, which is fantastic. But yeah, I'll come back in a minute once I've done a few bits. Okay, so that's the first shiny panel on. Really, really pleased with how that looks. You can sort of see it's got quite a nice, nice shine to it, which is fantastic. It was quite interesting, actually. There was a bit of damage here. And I'll ask Barry what had happened. I'm sure it's got an interesting story like every other dent on this car. But there's uh, one, two, three, four, five... So like six holes drilled through, and this is all body filler here. And you can see where it was all caved in. They've pulled it all out. So it'd be interesting to know what that's bashed into. Um, but yeah, so that's all bolted in. The first restored panel, if you want to call it that. Got all the new fixings in, which look really nice. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how that's come out. And I'm just looking forward to seeing the rest of the car with this kind of shine all over it. It's just going to look a lot more presentable. As you can see how bad the seal is and how much it's shrunk. I mean, yeah, it's missing quite a lot. So uh, we might look at investing in a new windscreen seal a little bit sooner than we first thought. Um, but it's not a massive issue because I won't be driving this thing in the rain at the moment. Um, I can always fill this in with a little bit of sealant, but I think what we'll do is we'll just get this all on the road, clean it all up, and then we'll uh, get a new screen seal put in it and just go from there. But yeah, so next job's gonna be to, I'm, I'm really tempted just to run the uh, run the mop with the cutting compound over the wings now, um, just because then I can sort of, it might make sense to do that because I can do the vehicle in stages. Once the wings are done, the bonnet's done, that can go back together. I can tick off the whole front end and work my way back. So I might do that, or I might just do, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'll keep thinking, I might suddenly decide to do it, depends on how much more uh, other dirty stuff I wanna do first. But yeah, so we'll just crack on now. I think the next job's going to be to run the wiring loom through, repair the wiring loom, and uh, install the headlights and the indicators. And then if I've got any sanding pads, I will sand down the grill and the surround and put all those back in. I'm starting to look at the horns now and thinking they should probably come off um, just to check that they're working and maybe just to clean them up and just spray them up a, a different colour, maybe silver or black, just to... Uh, Neaten it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see those through the grill, um, but I'll probably just paint them black if I do take those off. But yeah, it's just a bit of a, a fettling day, really. I need to move this uh, fuel filter water trap. This needs to go here, because that's the exact same as that, I've realised. And what's going to go here is a sedimenter. Is it a sedimenter or sediment? Whatever it is, it's a sediment catcher. It catches all large bits of sediment. Um, and I have ordered a new one of those for a uh, Defender. Um, but it's also the same for diesel uh, classic Range Rovers, so I'll bolt that in. Um, I don't think that's turned up yet, but as soon as that has turned up, that can go in there. I might swap that across to there. Also, annoyingly, you probably won't be able to see this, but there's a bracket here for these uh, these two cables uh, that goes through. Uh, it's basically bolted underneath the shock tower through one of those collars. That thread is stripped completely. Um, it basically exploded. I had to lever the nut off. So I have got a nice new one, ripped apart part. Um, it's just such a faff to take it all apart for that one job. So uh, I'm kind of putting that off. So when I feel like I'm ready to do the brake pipe so I can jack it up and I'll take this apart and pull that shock tower off and uh, replace that collar. But yeah, so we'll just crack on. I'll check in again in a bit when I've done a few more bits and pieces. I'm not really sure what order I'm doing stuff in today. Uh, just as and when I see something that needs doing, it can go back together, I'll do it.
Okay, so this is as far as we've managed to get today. Um, sorry it's not been in the usual format and if it's a little bit jiggled around, it's been filmed over a few days and I keep forgetting where I am. So, uh, as in where I am with the car, not where I am, I've not got dementia. Um, so we've made some good progress. I've repaired all the wiring behind the headlights. So we now have everything working. So we've got indicators, we've got side lights, we've got main beam and we've got full beam or is it dipped being whatever it isn't we've got all of it which is fantastic I must say i'm really impressed with these uh chinese uh indicator side light units they uh they're really good i mean it actually say lucas on them as well but they're probably not actually lucas but they're really good for the money so instead of you guys all scrambling around trying to find your oe stuff i really would recommend a set they fit, fit really really well as well um yeah so i ended up mopping the wings which is quite good I didn't actually film that because it only took about two minutes. I'm just using um, a mop with two different heads with a coarse and a finishing compound. So then it will just need a polish at the end. But this is more about just sort of working my way back from the front of the car to the back of the car. Um, so as soon as I finish the front and I can clean and do the doors, put the speakers in the doors, put the seats in, etc. Then we can work along to the rear, do the welding, do the axle, buff it up, swap the tailgates. Um, and then we're basically done. So it is flying along. I've also done the bonnet. You should have seen, if I've edited this correctly, you should have seen a time lapse of me doing that. Um, and that came out pretty well, I'm quite happy with that. I mean, it does need a polish over the top. As you can see, it's no longer oxidized. It has got, I mean, it's a bit dirty there where I've wiped it. But it's got quite a nice sheen to it. I mean, it would really benefit from a little uh, wet back, a uh, little sand with some wet and dry and then a buff. But I mean, it's exactly what we're looking for clean patinaed usable paint but yeah no so i'm really happy with how that's gone um what else have i done that's about it really uh i've got to sand back and paint the lights around in the grill that'll be the, the next episode and put the bonnet on all the cables um but yeah no we're really not far off finishing the front end now it's only brake pipes the master the washer bottle system uh the bonnet on the grill the bumper and that's it. And I'm going to have to stump up unless I can find a decent one. There's a big plastic under tray that covers across the, I think it, maybe it's the front balance it's called. Um, I have got one, it's cracked to hell and it looked awful. And I don't know if I'm going to buy a new one or just drive it without one for now. We will see, but I think they're a good couple of hundred quid off Famous 4. So we'll have a look tonight when we get home. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode and uh, hopefully you can see that it's really starting to fire along quite quickly now. So fingers crossed. It won't be much longer before this thing's running and driving.